Hi guys, nice to see you guys again. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up for me and for yourself. And today I want to talk about why I care about perfectionism. Why I care about perfection. Why is it important? Before I, read, before I tell you guys what I think, I just want to read this quote by Alan Watts. Kindly, so the monkey said to the fish, kindly let me save you from drowning as he pulls him up the tree. There's, there's this sense of knowing how to help that we forget that we need sometimes in our lives. So, okay, so what do I need to help? That's where, that's where the perfectionism comes in. For example, if I am, say I'm, say I'm asking someone for advice and that person is usually really nice to everyone and I'm not, and I don't care about being nice. Should I go and ask that specific person how I should be around others? Because they're probably going to say something I don't want to hear, but I respect them. So should I talk to them? Oh, uh, that's a resounding no. <laughs> Guys, what I've learned in my life is that the best people to talk to when you need advice are people that are similar to you. And a cool way I learned about it is, well, I have this friend when I was young younger in astrology when I didn't know about birth charts when I had literally just found out about them I had gone through this emotional ugh. how do you explain how do you explain how you feel when you find something and you know it's the right thing I don't know how you can explain that but I got that feeling the, the I know this is right and I can feel it and it's bleeding outside of me and I can feel it oh my gosh what the hell <laughs> bad vibe so I was feeling that vibe and what happened is I started being a magnet. Apparently Scorpio is a magnet, whatever. So I start magnetizing people like me to me so that I can prove that birth charts make perfect sense. Right? And little did I know that I was going to attract someone that was constantly correcting me. <laughs> Look, the, the person I attracted was always like, dude, you're an asshole. You're too rude. You need to stop being so rude. I'm like, um, wait, are you talking to me? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be like, you know, I don't want to be the rude person in the room. You're talking to me. You don't talk to me like that. You know, I get defensive. But then at the same time, after the, the, the conversations that we have together, that we have together started to progress, I started to see what they were talking about. Like, oh shit, I do do this and it's really rude. And this probably would hurt someone. So what happened is the things I was doing started getting broken down. Like, hey, why do you do this and that? Why do you do those two things? Because you know this makes this person feel this way. And I'm like, oh shit. But the, 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 the point, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the person I was talking to, believe it or not, was more similar to me than not. Their rising sign wasn't really similar to mine, but I believe that's it. I'm not really sure about their houses, but I know their rising wasn't really similar to mine. Or was it the moon? I think it was actually the moon. Her moon the moon was feminine. Right? But seriously, I think I learned more about my relationship just from talking to that one person for four months. I learned more about my relationship than I had ever known. Hmm, how do we explain that? The first thing that comes to mind is turn decades into days. How do you turn decades into days? A lot of people, and I believe this is true too, that when you read a book, you're turning decades into days because the person that wrote the book was really old. Very true. But what was that person's personality like? 
<laughs> that's a big deal, right? Because if that person was a, a natural, some people are natural people pleasers, and that's a natural thing. That's a good thing for them because they're just designed to do that. And some people aren't. Some people aren't designed to please people. Some people are designed to please themselves. But how would you find that out in, say, a biography? No one's going to say, oh, yeah, I like to take care of myself, F everyone else. This is all about me, blah, blah. No one's going to say that. But you feel it. You feel it. This is all about me. You know, you feel it and you express outwards. And that's why looking at a birth chart would help you to understand whether or not this person is... 186 everyone or I love everyone all together no matter what every day period Anyone I can help I help For example for me. I don't like to help people too much Okay, I like to help people with relationships and I like to talk about astrology, but I'm not gonna help you talk about anything else because I don't really resonate with that But I care enough to listen that's where I, that's where most people just assume, oh, he likes to help everyone with everything. No, I don't, but I'm a good listener. So that's important. <laughs> and so that's something to think about. It's like, how is the person that you're looking at going to influence you in the long run? It's very important. I don't do a lot of things that I used to do that were really offensive. A lot of things. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> and so... I'm super grateful to have had a friend. To have a friend that helps me to understand myself better. And another thing, guys. If you find someone and their birth chart is really similar to you, it doesn't really matter if that person doesn't really identify with you as a human. For example, if you are working really hard on your life... And this other person is doing something with their life that they need help with. You can help them, but don't hang out with that person because you'll end up having the negative stuff they have. What you do is you try to lift them up. An occasional text message, you know, you, you do occasional stuff. If a person's down, it's best to help them from a distance. Even if they're compatible with you. I don't care if... If everything you say, they say too. It doesn't matter. Your intention, how you're moving in your life is deadly important. How are you moving in your life? I'm going to give you guys three takeaways before I go. One takeaway. Intentions, they're everything. If you're speaking to someone and you're giving them advice, and your intentions are to help them, that's a good intention. If your intention is to help them, and to break them down, those are not necessarily that great. Because sometimes if you break someone down, you can kind of touch sensitive spots and then they won't want you to help them. So you, you, you keep your eye on that kind of stuff. It's a lot easier if you're talking to someone you're compatible with because they'll feel you. And if they're on the wrong intention, they'll feel it. And before you can tell them to stop having the wrong intention, they'll change it. And that's a cool thing about people that are really similar to you is when they feel your intentions, dude, they always check themselves. Oh, by the way, aside from my friend, my mom and my dad have a lot of signs similar to each other. So I do completely understand the whole compatibility metric and it's very vital. When I looked at their birth charts, I almost crapped my pants because my parents are really similar to me. And I always wonder why. My brothers would always say, oh, you're just like your dad. My dad's not really doing so good for himself. No one wants to say I'm like my mom, but I know I am. Because I feel it. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Feel, feel it. That's, that's one thing that I also want to mention. When you, when you meet someone that you're compatible with, whether you look at their birth chart or not, you will feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it every time, every time I'm telling you, it's the most fun part to be real with you guys. The most fun part is to talk to someone and be like, oh, this person's really cool. I can feel it. And then you look at their birth chart 
And then you're like, yep. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I knew it. That's an awesome feeling. Trust me. Trust me. That's the only reason why I like doing this. That's the only reason I like doing this, okay? It, you can feel intentions, dude, and they, they're everything. Intentions plus compatibility. Those two things you can feel really well. I feel like there's an intention feeling and there's a compatibility feeling. Knowing the difference it makes you more empowered. Okay, my second takeaway is... Yeah, like I said before, guys, if you feel like you need to correct someone all the time, just give them some space. Just give them space so that they can break down what they were doing with their lives. My friend, uh, I've never really met them. I've never met them. They're like my best pen pal I've ever had in my life. Best pen pal ever. Ever. Oh my god. I could never have a, a better pen pal, I swear to you guys. Like, there's no way in hell. So please, for your sake and mine, please be less rigid, guys. Like I said yesterday, be aggressive, but be nice. Be nice. I know there's aggressive ones out there. Okay? And more aggressive than me, even. But try to be nice. Okay? Just try it. And then you'll feel the difference. Just try it one time. Just try it one time, okay? That's all I want. Just one, one, one good old college try. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and this is my last takeaway. Okay. So when you're, when you're trying to help someone, if it's not working, if it's just not working, Try to give less. Give less because this is how it works in life with food. I'm not, I'm not sure how it works in life with communicating, but I'm going to assume it works the same way because that's how I feel. When you're making food, say you're making potatoes and eggs. If you put a little salt in it, it makes it taste better, right? Okay, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> if you put a little salt in your food, it tastes better. But if you decide, oh, man, today I don't feel so good. I'm going to put more salt. Maybe that'll make me feel better. Then what's probably going to happen is you're going to have to throw all your food away. And then you're going to have to make your food again. And I personally feel like that translates into when you're speaking to someone and you're trying to help them. If you push them too hard, they're going to disappear. But if you push them just a little bit, they're going to get it eventually. And that's the goal in life, is to get it eventually. All you got to do is just give it a little push. With, with say, say you have someone that, that you care about that's compatible with you or not, and they need advice, just give them bite-sized pieces, man. Be soft on people, man. It's really important, especially if you're really aggressive. If you're not really aggressive, and you feel like you're not being aggressive enough, just give yourself a break, because you're doing amazing. If you're softer, if you're more feminine, and you're talking to someone that's masculine, just be more soft. Be you. Best way to succeed in life is to be yourself. There's no need to try to act like someone you're not. You guys are awesome and amazing. And thank you so much for being there for me, giving me the opportunity to talk about this stuff, man. Because astrology is the big news. <laughs> I'm really grateful you guys are here. And maybe I'll do another another video on perfection because it's my favorite. It's my favorite subject. It really is. Sort of. Well, I have a bunch of favorite subjects. On that note, though. I'm going to say thank you guys and I'm going to ask you have a great rest of your day.